Hey everyone, and welcome to an unboxing of the Dead or Alive Extreme 3 Scarlet Edition for the Nintendo Switch. This is the Collector's Edition, or I don't know if it's a limited, it's a limited edition. It's pretty much, pretty much sold out pretty much now. I mean, you can get them, you can still pick this up in different uh, vendors. Um, much, much higher price than when it first came out. I actually didn't get this um, when it first came out. I actually picked this up, found this for a really good price. Pretty close to what it was, the price when it first came out. Uh, from a vendor on Amazon Japan. So this came directly from Japan. I do have the PS4 and the PS Vita version of uh, the original uh, version before they added this character here, um, the additional character that's up front. Um, I have the collector's editions for those two. It also came with the art books. I did a book flip through on those two, but I didn't do an unboxing on those two versions because I think I got those a while back. But either or, I um, picked this up wasn't sure, like I said, I wasn't sure if I was going to buy this or not, and I decided, hey, you know what, I found it for a good price. I said, let me pick it up. I've got the other two versions, and I and I was didn't know if I wanted to get the PS4 version because I do have the PS4 version of the the first um, iteration of this Dead or Alive Extreme 3, and um, I figured, well, I'll get the Nintendo Switch. I know with PlayStation doing a lot of different um, censoring on certain items, certain things, this is one game they did censor in some in some portions of it because, like I said, it caters to the fan service. Nintendo Switch version is pretty fully intact. Um, this is pretty much the Japanese version, but it does have English subtitles, and um, yeah, it's 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 a game that I've played, had had fun, enjoyed playing it, and I figured, well, let me pick it up for the Nintendo Switch, and you can see here, this is the collector's edition, the box, nothing extravagant, like I said, just got the nice artwork on it. Uh, one thing I want to point out, uh, this game is was never released, is not going to be released into the North American market, so... If you, the only place you could probably get this through, if like an Asian version and a Japanese version is to play Asia, which I've gotten my first two versions of this from them. And um, like I said, this is definitely not a Western release or anywhere else. Like I said, it's only a Jap Japanese release. And the hence, that's why it's pretty much English subtitles in these, in these games. Um, but overall, as you can see, Here's all the different items it comes with. Like a, there's a mouse pad. There's um, these some of the, the pieces in here are actually a little different than the first game that they included. But let's get this thing opened. And so now let's get to opening this game case here and take a quick look at the the little game card that's included um, in this game case. Here's a close-up of some of the, the code, promo codes. You get these additional DLC downloads for these different outfits. But you have to have an Asian, Japanese, or a Hong Kong account to able to download these extra bonus items for your characters. So I, I think I did that on the very first um, Dead or Alive Extreme 3. I made a Hong Kong account and was able to get the bonus DLCs. And here we have the little tilt cards, that you can call them, or it's, it's basically lenticular printing. It's basically where it's, it's kind of a lens, I guess. You can look at these cars and they kind of, the picture wiggles. You can kind of tilt it and it's almost like an animation. Tilt it a certain way and boom, voila. So those are pretty neat little, little um, additions they've added to it. And this one here, I couldn't tell exactly what what was the the second movement. You can kind of see her arms and her legs, and just a little bit her 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 head kind of moves. Almost like like almost like like crawling like a cat, I guess, with her costume. So. Now, what Japanese video game that caters to fan service in a collection edition would not have an item such as this? This is a jail filled mouse pad that the very first two versions, or uh, the very first version um, of Dead or Alive Extreme 3 that I mentioned before for the PS Vita and the PS4 that I have did come with mouse pads such as this but with different characters. This is definitely a Japanese mouse pad that you don't see every day. Oh yes, I am making sure there is Jill in there. <laughs> Now 
And yes, you can rest your wrist on that very comfortably while maneuvering your mouse or whatever you're doing. <laughs> All right, here's the art book. And this is a very nice um, little art book that is actually pretty, pretty. Um, it's a little bit smaller than the very first um, two art books that came with the other versions of this um, game, uh, the very first version of the game. And I do have uh, book flip through videos, and I'm going to do the exact same thing with this art book. I'm going to do a book flip through video. I'll do that. Um, it'll follow right after this video. I'll put links in the description for this art book and the other two art books that I already have on my channel. If you like what you see, do consider subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate all the support everyone um, gets me for subscribing to my channel or leaving a like or even a dislike. I'm not going to be offended by that. And do please share the video if you know if anyone may be interested in, in this kind of content or this particular video in general. So until the next video, I will see you all later. Take care.